The gravitational constant plays a very major role in the universal gravitation equation. The equation itself was formulated in 1687 by Isaac Newton, and at the time nobody really cared about the gravitational constant, or g. Most people at the time really just considered it a proportionality constant. The constant was actually determined years after Newton had formulated his universal gravitation equation. In 1789, a guy called Henry Cavendish performed an experiment to try and determine the density of the Earth, which he thought would be useful in his future astronomical measurements. His experiment involved using a torsion balance to measure the force of attraction between two masses. He ended up determining the mass of the Earth and its density, but he never actually discovered the gravitational constant. You see, it wasn't until 1873 that a bunch of other scientists and dorks started retrying Cavendish's experiment. Then, in doing so, and after some complex derivation, those scientists ended up actually documenting the value of g, the gravitational constant. And it was the value of g that was implied from Cavendish's experiments accurate to 1% of today's measurements. And this has set a huge misconception in the scientific community because it wasn't Cavendish that discovered the gravitational constant. It was his experiment that helped scientists almost a century after him derive the constant. My name is Mohamed Walid from SIS Sharjah and this video was supervised by Mr. Shadi Al-Qassas. Thank you.